In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, brothers and sisters, God is the author of life. And he's the author of death. So I want to say to you, the Father giving the Son the author of life. So the question is, was Jesus a gang member? And see, brothers, he was a gang member for me and you, for the black man throughout America, for the Asian brother throughout America, and even the white man throughout America, and even the Mexicans, Latinos throughout America. See, my brothers, there was confusion in the world. There was game banging throughout the world and throughout America. So Jesus had to take on the ownership that his father would give him that even if he had to come in the world to be a gang member for me and you to die on the cross for me and you to get an understanding that God sent him on a mission for mankind. So whether Jesus was a gang member, that was for the purpose that the father sent him in the world to do. Because the world was a corruption that we had, brothers and sisters. That if Jesus had to take on the responsibility of mankind condition and problems, he would take on the condition by being a game member for me and you. So Jesus had to come to improve a world. A system that was corrupted. But all the things that's going on throughout the United States of America. Jesus had work to do in a very short time of his ministry. And this is for me and you to come together for there can be unity. There's so much disunity in the world today. So much of us div divided into division. You see, Christ did all these things to bring unity in together so that way we can understand that we all God's people, no matter what color you are, no matter what minority you are, but we are all God's people. God never looked at color, but we all God's people because God is a loving God. He loved it, me and you. And even through all the ups and downs that the country had, the, the, the racism, the hate, all this that was going on throughout the world. God allowed us to be at peace with one another, especially in the time that we are living in, the time that we are witnessing. So Jesus came for the purpose to bring peace in the world. For us to be at peace and love and unity amongst each other. Jesus loved us. He was willing to take on the challenge of his life. Even if it was death. He was ready to die. One man. So how should we live? We should live for him. For that one man died for mankind. For mankind's sins, he, he paid a price. 
for our sins. Because he didn't know no sin. He didn't even know of coming in the world to be a gang member. But he was a gang member for me and you, brothers. So now with the world erupting with such violence throughout America, we, we can experience, you know, I want to say every day, always someone every day getting killed throughout the United States of America. So this is why Jesus came for the purpose to resurrect us in the time that we are in. We must come to a time that we must understand that we are the chosen people of God. We must correct everything that we are doing and live our life for him. That Jesus came to improve a world because the world was so lopsided. Not a lot of people is, is believing in God. And if you really look at this world, the, t the temporal enjoyment of it, because the world is temporal. But the enjoyment that we're going to have, brothers and sisters, will be for the hereafter. You know, this earth is rotten, brothers. It's not going to be up so long. Why did disciples came to Jesus when they asked him, look, Lord, what magnificent stones. Look at these great buildings. Jesus says, none of these buildings will be put up much longer. So in saying all that, we must decide, brothers, what should we do? We got to put our trust in our God because he's an awesome God that we should serve. So, brothers, let's continue. To strive for what God wants. And brothers, the word of God says in the book of Hebrew, we got to be content of what we got. Because this is a God that says, never will I leave you, and never will I forsake you. Romans 8.31 tells us, the word of God says, Tells us that God will never leave his people, especially in a traumatic time. If God is for us, who could be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? With weapons, with Mass destructions that have been going on throughout America. We've been fighting on the plantation. And many of our people didn't die. The black man throughout America. How badly he was mistreated with any justice. So therefore, brothers, there have to be a new government. There have to be a new ruler. And Jesus, the only way that he took on ownership. So therefore, brothers, we are at the end of it all. So brothers, we must decide to serve the Lord in these times. I love you. God love you. And his son love you. Let's get our life in a direction for him. May peace be with you. And may the God be with you.